Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here, and today I've got another very exciting Photoshop tutorial for you guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and create a glossy pill-looking button or icon inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now what you're going to be getting is you're going to be getting something that looks a little bit like this. As you notice, it sort of looks like a pill, and it's a very glossy looking pill with a really nice text effect in it. Well today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really glossy looking pill looking button like this one inside of Adobe Photoshop. You can use any version of Adobe Photoshop to go ahead and do this, but for this video I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop version CS4 to go ahead and get the job done. So the first thing we want to do is go up to File and create a new document. And once we're in there, you can go ahead and create the width and the height to anything you want to. But I'm going to be using 1280 by 800 pixels for this particular tutorial. And you can go ahead and change the background contents to whatever you want to. But I'm going to be changing my background contents to the background color, which in this case is black. And then I'm going to be clicking OK. And I'm going to be getting a background that looks a little bit like this. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to double click on the background layer to go ahead and unlock it just because it's a habit that I always have. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer down here. And then we're going to go ahead and select our rounded rectangle tool over here. Once selected in the rounded rectangle tool, you want to make sure that it's set to shave colors and that the radius is set to 60 and that the, uh, the um, create new shape layer is checkmarked right here and then under style let's go ahead and select none and we'll change the color to white once we're in there we can go ahead and start creating our button so just go ahead and click the rectangle tool and drag until we have something that looks a little bit like this which is going to be our button so now what we're going to do is now we have a lot of big workspace to work with and only a little button so I'm going to go ahead and crop my workspace so I don't need all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and select the crop tool and I'm going to just uh, crop around the workspace and I'm going to click on crop just so we have a little uh, less space to work with because we don't have all that open space. And I'm also going to make the uh, background layer transparent just for the purposes of this video. So once we've gone ahead and made our button look like that, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to shape one in the layers tab, right click it and go to blending options. Once they're in blending options, you want to click on gradient overlay. Once in there, go ahead and double click on this. Select the bottom color to a very light color. I like to use uh, light blue for this actually, so I'll click on light blue for there. And then for the top color, we generally want a very dark color. So I'm going to be using a uh, darker blue, sort of like that. And I think maybe I should change my lighter blue to be a little bit more like that. And that should be good. Now let's just go ahead and take this and drag that over a little bit to make our button look a little bit like that. And parts of the project are not played. So, sorry guys, I just got to look into my whole GarageBand recording, which suddenly stopped recording. So I guess that means no voiceover for this video, just the plain recording. So I have to apologize about that part for you guys. So sorry for the little interruption. Now we're going to go ahead and continue on with the tutorial. So we were in the gradients. So in the gradients, what we're going to do is just make sure everything looks like this so you have this sort of awesome looking gradient background on your button. So once that's done, you just go ahead and click OK. And we can go ahead and add in a drop shadow if you want to, but we're going to add in an inner shadow. We're going to change the blend mode to overlay, and we're going to change the color of it to, uh, let's choose white. Then we're going to go ahead and change the opacity all the way up to 100%. And let's go ahead and change the distance. So I'll change the distance to around, let's say, 7 we can change the size to around, I'm going to choose 16. You can choose the choke, anything you want to as well. But I'm going to keep my choke at, let's say, around 1. Just so the button looks like that now. So once you've gone ahead and played with all the settings to get the button looking exactly the way you want to, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to go over here and grab our rounded rectangle tool again. And once there, we're going to make sure everything up here is the same, except for under style. We're going to make that to none and make the color to white. But let's go undo apply style, because first we have to apply a new layer. So sorry about that. So now we're going to select the uh, rounded rectangle tool. And we're going to go ahead and create a new rectangle. So we can just go ahead and create a little rectangle. And if you guys want to move it around the screen, make sure you hold down the space bar. And that'll move it around the screen while you're creating it. So I'm going to create one about right there. But I'm going to remember to change the style of it to blank so that it looks like a little white rectangle right there. So now to go ahead and make it look like it's glossy, we're going to just change the blending mode to overlay, and it should look like that. But And now we're just going to go ahead and change the opacity, and we'll change the opacity to around, let's say, 50%. Then 
it should go ahead and look like that. As you notice, very glossy looking. And you can go ahead and play with the settings any way you want to because I'm sort of rushing to go ahead and get this button done. So once you have it looking like that, now we can go ahead and feel free to add the text effect. So go ahead and create a new layer and we're going to go ahead and grab our text tool and go ahead and type in something. So I'll type in um, text just uh, to be certain or we can type in something like a Nick Nick's button and I'm gonna go ahead and drag my little uh, button stuff to be in the uh, center of the button to be about right there and now to go ahead and make it look really cool we're gonna go ahead to the uh, blending style and we're gonna change it to soft light and as you notice it should look like it's just an outline in the gloss of the button and then it should look like that as you notice it's really cool and really simple and let's go ahead and save this for now oh and if you guys are wondering what font that I was using for that I'll provide a link to it in the description the font is called Dan Boo which you can find here at a link from defont.com I got a message on Facebook everyone so let's just go and read the message. So, in case you guys are wondering, my safari is freezing. OMG, I love your new profile fake. Thanks. All right, that's kind of weird. So now we've gone ahead and got this, and I've showed you guys my little conversation, and I showed you guys where to get the font. And so now we've gone ahead and made our button, and it's completely done. Now all we need to do is save it. So to go ahead and save it, we go up to File, and we go to Save As, and I'm going to name it Nix button and make sure under format you change it to PNG format so that you um, can go ahead and make the background of it transparent and you can go ahead and use it as your button for anything else so once you save it as a PNG just go ahead and click on save click OK and then basically we're done so I can go ahead and close out of Photoshop and now here is my button. As you notice, it's got a transparent background. It looks like a pill. It's glossy, and it has a really nice text effect. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how to make a really cool glossy pill button inside of Adobe Photoshop. You can use pretty much any version of Adobe Photoshop for you guys. And basically, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to go ahead and check me out at these links right here on the screen. Just feel free to go ahead and click on them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm going to go ahead and mess with my Facebook conversation now, in case you guys are wondering. So, yeah, you sent that to me, and I was like, what the fuck, where, and why? Um, okay. It was cool. Yeah, so, anyway, go ahead and click the links on the screen, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!